I'm Chad Blindar, president of the South Dakota Corn Utilization Council. We're harvesting corn just northwest of Mitchell today. Nice, nice day for harvest. Temperatures have been great. A uh, little, little windy, but that's helping dry things out, dry out the corn. Harvest is going pretty well so far. And the yields have been coming in pretty decent. Uh, so far they've been uh, pretty much what we expected. This particular ground is, is pretty pretty light ground, and I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't have done it any other way other than to no-till right into it. And plus, I don't want to lose the advantage of it being uh, being in grass for uh, so many years. Tremendous amount of advantage just to leave it in no-till, plant right into it, and, and it turned out really well. We were able to save the moisture versus turning it black and we would have had we done that we would have really been in uh, we wouldn't be seeing these yields that we're seeing out here because we would have lost all that moisture. Most of our corn uh, we do feed a fair amount, but most of it goes, ends up over at the ethanol plant, which is close by. It's only two miles from our farm, which is really convenient for us. And it, uh, it's another market for our corn. We feed the uh, distiller's grains from that, from that ethanol plant, so it's a, uh, it's a win-win situation as far as I'm concerned. looking forward. This technology is uh, something that we need to continue to increase our yields, which we really need to do with the demand of corn out there. We need to continue to increase our yields, and, and I think we will with the technology that's coming in, and that will be available to farmers to grow. It will be a huge benefit, and um, We'll be able to meet that increasing demand for corn in the future.